in only a couple of weeks, Bitcoin is down 19%. The markets are fearful. What's going on right here? Let's talk about that. Last time I talked about Bitcoin was a couple of weeks ago. I mentioned that I wasn't really sure that the previous correction down into mid-March was the actual cycle low for Bitcoin. For one, the correction wasn't really that scary. It was relatively mild. And uh, for another reason, that would have implied a relatively short cycle lasting for only 48-49 days. We have seen cycles even shorter than that historically looking, at, uh, looking back a few years ago. But uh, since this pandemic crash in March 2020, the shortest cycle on Bitcoin has only been 51 days. So it would have been kind of unusual to have a cycle shorter than the shortest over the last couple of years. Still, sometime in future, we are going to see a cycle lasting for less than 51 days. Over the last couple of years, though, the average duration has been 62 days. And I think it's more likely that we saw the cycle low yesterday on Bitcoin, with the cycle now lasting for 77 days. That would be the correct way, in my opinion, to look at Bitcoin cycles, meaning that if we have seen the cycle low yesterday or if Bitcoin continues down for a short while, after all the cycle is already stretching, then um, sometime soon, maybe perhaps even today, we are going to see a nice buying opportunity in Bitcoin into a new cycle. And of course, for uh, more details on that, on how do we identify a buying opportunity, is the decline likely to continue for another few days, or is Bitcoin ready to start rallying? For all of those details, join us at myfinanceteacher.org. I'll just mention that one thing I might be looking at is a swing low. Now, coming back to looking at these cycles, a third reason why I like the count with the cycle low yesterday or in the next one or two days on Bitcoin is that RSI has finally corrected to more appropriate levels for this sort of a cycle low. Back in mid-March, RSI has stayed well above 40 and it's now significantly below 30. Yesterday, RSI was as low as 35.3 and even lower than that, which is much more appropriate for a cycle low. The fear is on the markets, and of course, as uh, value investors, you want to buy things cheap when everybody is afraid, and um, reduce your positions when things are a little bit more expensive, with significantly more optimism on the market. Talking about fear on the market, as well as optimism, let's have a look at our important indicators. This is crypto fear and greed. Back in mid-March, crypto fear and greed did drop all the way back to 20 which might be sort of enough for a cycle low in Bitcoin. But, but again, we see this fear and greed index back down to 20, which also implies more of a significant drop in the last couple of weeks, all the way from a higher high at 60 down to 20. So the fear and greed index repeating the mid-March low, while it's not a lower low, at least the fear and greed index does not disagree with this being the correct cycle low on Bitcoin. Next, let's have a look at Bitcoin Optimism Index. Last time I looked at Bitcoin, I said that it's not very likely that we have seen the cycle low in mid-March on Bitcoin because looking at this green line, the 10-day moving average of the Optimism Index, it um, just tapped on 40 before moving higher, whereas historically, at least since the start of 2020, every single cycle low came with this 10-day moving average of the Optimism Index below 40. Now that I uh, look at it, there was one exception in uh, late March 2021. So it is a possibility that cycle low comes with this 10-day moving average at around 40 rather than uh, noticeably below 40. But that was an additional sign to expect uh, another possible correction down in Bitcoin, which we have seen over the last couple of weeks. Now this uh, Bitcoin Optimism Index is again uh, just slightly below 40 at 39. And if the drop continues for another couple of days, the green line might actually dip noticeably below 40, which would be a more common behavior for a Bitcoin cycle low. And even if Bitcoin shoots up from here today, at least we have seen this green line dip below 40 as of yesterday. 
So now after a correction of 19% since late March, Bitcoin is starting to look a little bit more interesting. So for more regular updates on cryptocurrencies as well as a range of other assets, feel free to join us at myfinanceteacher.org where together with the members we have slashed our crypto positions significantly closer to the highs and sometime today or tomorrow I'll have a look at more details to see when exactly I want to get back to relatively larger allocations. But again, what I'm trying to do is only share my views with you. This is not an investment advice and nobody does know the future. So for that reason, I really want to know what do you think about Bitcoin? Are we going to see Bitcoin back above this 50-day moving average, above $42,000 by the end of this week? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.